Hello and welcome back to Tutoring with Gavin. In this series of videos, I'll be showing you how to get great grades in your exam using quality quotes or speeches from the play Macbeth by William Shakespeare. I will show you how to reveal vital information about character, themes, imagery and dramatic techniques. This video will be looking at Lady Macbeth's final scene before her death in Act 5, Scene 1, lines 20 to 61. Yet, here's a spot. Oh, she speaks. Out. Damned spot out, I say. One, two. Well, then, it is time to do it. <gasps> Hell is murky. By my Lord Fye, a soldier and a feared. What need we fear? Who knows it? When none can call our power to a cult. Yet who would have thought the old man to have had so much blood in him? Do you mark that? The Thane of Fife had a wife. Where is she now? What will these hands ne'er be clean? After a noticeably long absence, Lady Macbeth seems to be suffering a nervous breakdown from guilt, but perhaps from fear of going to hell. Hell is murky. She appears to be talking to her absent husband. Fire, my lord, fire. Repeated exclamation marks show her distress. The gentlewoman remarks that Lady Macbeth has a light by her continually. The stage direction says that she is carrying a taper, which is a candle. The contrasting imagery of light and dark symbolises heaven and hell. Her fear of the darkness of hell means she keeps a candle lit at all times. One of the most famous scenes ever written by Shakespeare, this was deliberately written in prose rather than iambic pentameter to show Lady Macbeth's descent into madness, her fall from grace and loss of power. Out damn spot, out I say, shows that she cannot rid herself of the image of Duncan's blood. The blood represents her guilt. Her guilt is clear when she says, Yet who would have thought the old man to have had so much blood in him? Not only is she reliving the murder, but by asking a question, Shakespeare is suggesting the uncertainty of her future and the regret in her actions. This contrasts with the first time we see her, when she is confident and determined. The use of an internal rhyme also shows madness as she relives the murder of Lady Macduff. The Thane of Fife had a wife. And there are more questions. What, will these hands ne'er be clean? The clean hands represent a clean conscience, which she will never have. The image of blood dominates this scene with the use of hyperbole, to exaggerate the point. Here is the smell of blood still. All the perfumes of Arabia will not sweeten this little hand. Shakespeare seems to be suggesting that once you commit such a terrible sin, there is no taking it back. It will haunt you and torment you with guilt until your dying day. Near the end of the scene, Lady Macbeth relives the third murder, that of Banquo. I tell you yet again, Banquo's buried. He cannot come out on his grave. Shakespeare uses the lexical field of death and murder with the words blood, buried and grave. Lady Macbeth's final line confirms this. What's done cannot be undone. To bed, to bed, to bed. There is a finality in the repetition of to bed, foreshadowing her death. This scene provides the final moments in Lady Macbeth's character arc. Character arc is a dramatic technique used by Shakespeare in all of his plays, but it is very striking in Macbeth as the two main characters change so much that it drives home the tragic effects of their flawed character traits and fatal choices. Well, I hope this has helped you to understand this important moment in the play. If you want notification of other quality quotes that will help you to get a great grade, then please subscribe and give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Until next time.